In this video, I'd like to explore the advances being made in automated ABR and screening. Traditionally, in screening automated ABR protocols, a click stimulus has been used. The click stimulus is, of course, the most famous stimulus used in evoke potentials testing. We know that it's a short duration signal and it contains a wide range of frequencies and it's universally accepted with plenty of research in the literature supporting its use. The challenge associated with the click stimulus, just like in traditional ABR testing, can be displayed in the video shown on the right hand side of the screen. Although the stimulus presents all frequencies to the cochlea at the same time, the way the cochlea is organised from high frequency to low frequency means that the firing of the nerve happens at different times for different frequencies. This causes a smearing of the response and therefore lower response amplitudes on the ABR itself. The result of this is that in addition to smaller responses, in the screening world this will lead to longer test times. A solution to the click stimulus has been found within the CE chirp. The CE chirp contains the same frequency spectrum and calibration to the click stimulus. However, it provides larger response amplitudes and as a consequence provides faster test times. The video on the right shows how it works. Instead of delivering all frequencies at the same time to the cochlea, the click stimulus does things differently. Firstly, it presents the low frequencies, followed by the mid frequencies, followed by the high frequencies. These then travel along the basilar membrane and reach their respective part at the same time, meaning that when they make neural firing, this all happens at the same time, leading to a synchronous response on the nerve and therefore larger response amplitudes. These larger response amplitudes in the screening world will be able to be detected faster and thus decrease test time. When considering the CE chirp, there has been a huge amount of research which is performed when looking at the benefits of this in the role of diagnostic ABR testing. However, today I want to demonstrate the evidence which supports its use within newborn hearing screening. Below you can see a variety of different studies which show the benefits of using CE chirp within newborn hearing screening. We of course do not have time today to go through each of these studies in detail. However, I want to highlight some of the key findings from some of the key papers. The first study I want to talk about is the Cebula study which was performed in 2012. What this paper showed was that based on their screening results, a CE chip based automated ABR algorithm had a 97.9% .9 sensitivity and 100% specificity for well babies. If we take a second study looking at sensitivity and specificity, but this time looking at children within newborn intensive care units, then we can see that we get a similar situation, we can see that the CE chirp based algorithm for detecting automated ABR had 100% sensitivity and a 97% specificity. This tells us that CE chirps can be used in newborn hearing screenings and have robust sensitivity and specificity values. The third study that I want to highlight looked and compared using automated ABR testing using CE chirps as opposed to DPOAE. This study was performed in the community. What this study showed was that by using CE chirp based automated ABR, then lower referral rates were achieved than using the alternative method, which in this study was distortion product autoacoustic emissions. The last study that I want to highlight addressed test time when using CE chirp based algorithms as opposed to non CE chirp based algorithms 
for detecting the automated auditory brainstem response. What this study showed was that by using the CE chirp and benefiting from the larger response amplitudes, this resulted in a test time which was reduced by one third when compared to algorithms which used click responses. Therefore, we can see that the benefits of the CE chirp which have been shown in the diagnostic ABR can be translated into the world of newborn hearing screening. In summary, Automated ABRs can now be performed with the broadband CE chirp stimulus. By using the CE chirp stimulus, it is comparable to the click automated ABR in both sensitivity and specificity. Lastly, by testing using the CE chirp, it can result in faster test times than traditional clicks in automated ABR testing.